Monkey's tutorial. In this video lecture, we'll be talking about how the response of an LTI system should be when we say that the system is stable. And the stability that we'll be talking about will be the BBO stability. BBO stands for bounded input, bounded output stability, which says that the value of the input should always be finite for all the values of T. And that finite input should give us a finite output which is given by this equation that the value of y t that means the output should be less than some finite value for all the values of t. So this input is bounded, this output is bounded. So the system is then called as a BBO stable system when both of them are bounded. The system here that we are considering is a continuous time LTI system which has an impulse response which is given by h of t. To this system we are applying an input xt and the response for this input xt is given by yt which will be then xt convolution ht and from the commutative property of convolution we can write it the other way around also we can write it as ht convolution xt also. When we say that for BBO stability that the output should be bounded that would mean that yt value is bounded. Now yt is given by the convolution of ht and xt and this is the formula for convolution. Integration from minus infinity to infinity h tau x of t minus tau d tau. When we say that this value should be finite that would mean that this integration value should also be finite. And when we want this integration value to be finite we can represent this with the mod sign here. This should be then less than infinity for it to be finite. Now this mod sign can be separated across these two terms by using a formula that is given by Schwarz and that is then called as Schwarz inequality function. So from Schwarz inequality we have this function separated as this. When we can separate this function which is under the integration and under this mod sign as this function this we can implement on this signal also. So therefore we are able to separate h of tau and x of t minus tau. When we are able to separate this, this function is actually giving us the maximum value that this integration can have because this is less than equal to this. Therefore when I have this as my result, now here we are saying that the input is bounded. When we are saying that the input is bounded, Therefore, xt value will be less than some finite value. Since xt value is less than some finite value, the time shift and time reversed value of xt, which is xt minus tau, will also be less than some finite value for all the values of t. And I can substitute this into this equation. When I substitute this into this equation, the result that I have is integration from minus infinity to infinity mod of h tau multiplied with some finite value b tau should be less than infinity to define that the LTI system is a stable system. Now when we can take this finite value on that side, infinity divided by some finite value will also be infinity. So we have this as a result. That would mean when we are defining a stable LTI system, the response of that system should be absolutely integrable. Absolutely integrable would mean that the integration should converge to some finite value for a bounded output. So for a continuous time LTI system to be stable, we have the definition as that the impulse response of the system should be absolutely integrable. That means from minus infinity to infinity when we are integrating this function, it should give us some finite value. Similarly, for a discrete time system, discrete time LTI system to be stable, we have this as the definition. The summation of the response of discrete time LTI system should give a finite value for the system to make it a stable system. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this video will help you in understanding how the definition of a stable LTI system is given. This is the form for a continuous time LTI system which is stable and this is the form for a 
discrete time LTI system which is stable and it is given in terms of their impulse responses. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have liked the video.